This video will show you how to use cues, snippets, and scenes to manipulate the mute status of a large number of microphones on the Behringer X32. The heart of this process is the snippet, and the X32 does this very well. The play for which I ran audio was a two-act play and had a total of 23 scenes and used 26 microphones. Trying to manage the mute status of all those microphones as characters entered or left the stage would have been almost impossible to do by manually pressing the mute buttons on the channels, but using snippets and cues on the X32 made this easy. To begin with, I download free soundboard emulation software called X32-Edit. This is available for both Mac and Windows. While you can log onto your Behringer X32 board over the network and sync the computer with software and the board, I chose to do my work offline on my computer and then transfer the settings using a USB stick. This seemed to work more reliably. Here are three definitions to understand. Scenes. Saving a scene records all the settings in the Behringer X32. This includes mic EQ settings, auxiliary and bus settings, mic volumes, and much more. You are limited to 100 save scenes per show on the X32. Snippets. Saving a snippet can record 13 parameter filter settings, 4 mixer and 8 effect settings, and some other stuff. However, the only one I'm really interested in after the play starts is the mute status. You are limited to 100 saved snippets. However, snippets can be called over and over. My first snippet is all mics muted. I recall this snippet at the end of each scene. I only need to create it once. Cues. Cues are used to recall snippets. You have 500 cues you can use, and if you want to add a cue in the midst of other cues, you can insert them. They automatically number in decimals like 9.1, etc. First, I get a copy of the script. It's going to be heavily marked up, so get one you don't have to erase. Go through the script and draw a line across the page at the end of every scene. This will be the all-mute snippet used after each scene. Next, draw a line across the beginning of each scene. This will unmute the mics for all characters that start on stage for that scene. Each line you draw will become a cue. Next, carefully read the script and draw a line each time one or more characters enters or leaves the stage. You mute mics as the actors exit, so you don't pick up any backstage chatter and broadcast it through the audience. One scene could have one or two cues, or maybe a dozen, depending on how much action there is coming and going. I ended up with 112 cues from my two-act play. When you are convinced you have marked all the cues, number them from one on in the script. I took one further step in creating snippets, that is to create a spreadsheet that showed when characters came and left the stage. This gave me a visual representation of the snippets I should create and allowed me to see which ones were identical so I didn't need to recreate them. I did this by creating an Excel spreadsheet with all the microphones across the top and the cues and snippets down the left. All the cues were put into the spreadsheet and an X was entered each time an actor's mic should be unmuted. Q1 Snippet 1 was all mute so no actors were marked. As I progressed I could see the pattern of mutes and could create only unique snippets, reusing ones I had already created. This spreadsheet also made troubleshooting cues easier during rehearsals because I could see who I thought should be speaking and find out issues with mic mutes. In the X32 Edit software, put in the names of your characters in the scribble script. 
I had 26 characters slash microphones. Set the volume level to unity, zero, and set the gain on each channel about the same. You will adjust the gain at the beginning of each rehearsal and resave scene zero, the setup scene. Click on all the mute buttons and this is your first setting, all mute. The buttons turn red. Save it as scene zero. At the start of each succeeding tech rehearsal, do a mic check and resave scene zero with adjusted settings. Next we create our mute status snippets. In X32 Edit, Click on all the mute buttons. Open the show control window and click the snippets tab. In the channels area, click all the mics you are using. I used mics 1 through 26. Next, click the parameter you want to record. I just wanted the mute status, so I clicked mute. Set your main window in X32 Edit with all channels muted. Click the number one snippet area. Click the save link. Give the snippet a name. I used all mute. You are asked to confirm the save. Next, change the mic status to reflect the next cue in your script. Click the next empty snippet area in the show control window, keeping it the same as the cue numbers in your script. I used SN2, SN3, etc. Save the next snippet. Continue until you have created all unique snippets for the play. If you have two snippets that are identical, you don't need to recreate them, just recall them with cues. Now the cues. Click the cues tab in the show control window. Click the add plus sign to the right. A new cue is created with the next number in the series. Right click the edit column and type in a name. I just use C scene 1 for the first cue. I use CO2 and so forth until the next scene the script. Press return to record the cue name. Right click the snippets area and a pop-up appears. Select the snippet you wish to use for that cue. Continue until you have all the cues for the show created. If during rehearsals you find you need another cue in the middle, Double click a cue to load it into the main screen, then click the add button. X32 edit inserts a cue with a decimal point. When all done, export your cues, scenes, snippets to a USB stick. Insert the USB stick in your computer. Click the cues button in the show control window. In the lower right, select Export, Current Show. Navigate to the USB drive and click Save. You can save a backup to your computer, or a hard drive, or the USB stick. Put it into a folder because there is a text file created for every queue. Put the USB stick in your Behringer X32 motherboard and import your work. Insert the USB stick into the board. Click the View button for Scenes. Click the Utility button on the board. Select Import Show from the options. This overwrites cues, scenes, and snippets in the board.
Now that you have your cues into the X32 board, how do you call them up? On the X32 board, before you are ready to call up the next cue, click the Next button in the Scenes area. Now click the Go button. On the screen, it will ask you to confirm loading the next cue. When you are ready to call the cue, press the right arrow in the display area to confirm. The mute buttons change to reflect that cue. Get ready for the next cue. Press next, press go. When ready, press the right arrow. Note that the confirmation box only stays on the screen about two minutes then it closes. You'll need to press go again if you're not ready before the timeout. I usually waited until about five or six lines of dialogue before a cue to press next. Move from cue to cue with next go right arrow. And there you have it, scenes, snippets, and cues, the way to manage your audio for plays or musicals.